हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम बैक दिस इज संजय कुमार फाउंडर एंड क्रिएटर ऑफ सेलेक्टर सब डायनेमिक ड्रॉप डाउन एलिमेंट्स विच यूज टू बिकम इनविजिबल व्हेन यू ट्राई टू इंस्पेक्ट देम और यू राइट क्लिक एंड देन ट्राई टू इंस्पेक्ट दे लाइक बिकम जस्ट लाइक इमीडिएटली डिसअपियर इट बिकम्स रियली डिफिकल्ट टू इंस्पेक्ट टू सी द डॉम ऑफ दोज एलिमेंट देन राइटिंग द सेलेक्टर्स राइट सिमिलरली लाइक देर आर lots of types of different kind of spin loader which used to immediately disappear and in fact like many times they appear and then they immediately go go away so how can we see the dom of those element how can we inspect them it's really challenging like in fact sometimes you would be able to do that like in the like dev tool con uh, dev tools you can see that like you press f8 sometimes sometimes you go to source tab and there is a pause button to script, uh, pause the script but these solutions doesn't work always so i will show you like in which situation it doesn't work in which situation it works but what is the permanent solution for all, uh, this kind of problem that so that you would be able to inspect any kind any kind of uh, element any kind of drop down any kind of invisible elements as and the bubble loader so let me show you here so the very first one is very simple let's say this you hover here you hover here these drop downs appear and you would be like you right click and you will be able to inspect that this is easy and simple we are able to see that element like you click and you would be able to see okay fine here we are able to inspect and see the dom let me just zoom in okay so this we are able to cool good no problem then there is another types of drop down elements which we will not be able to inspect like here you see that in flipkart website hover on electronics then here bluetooth headphones right click click on inspect you see that here we are not able to see the dom and if you click here and then you would not be able to inspect okay this i'm showing it on chrome browser so of course like in if you will go in firefox there will be different thing like when you click here and that drop down appears so that's a different story altogether but here you would not be able to inspect in chrome right click try to inspect you would not be able to do it but there is a way that you can inspect through uh, like dev tools like you just go to source and then there is a button here you first try to make it appear but you see that you would as soon as you remove your hover from here and try to click on this button you would not be able to do that <coughs> but if you want to uh, like stop these kind of drop down in fact like as soon as you go here and try to stop through this you would not be able to do that because drop down immediately disappear okay so here what can we do like in this kind of situation you can say that we can press con uh, function f8 right let me try so yes f8 works here in this situation then we were able to stop it good so this can be solved that way but like suppose we are on uh, let's say on a website where we can see the spin loader let me refresh this and these spin loaders appears meanwhile i will press f8 they di like they disappear like i refresh this page and i'm trying to press f8 but it it is not able to stop it and of course like you go to co control option command option or like in uh, windows it is different i'm making it on mac so yeah so like here we refresh the page and you try to click on this button you would be able to stop it so this is this way but this solution works in sub situ some situation this solution works like pressing f8 in some situation but some situation press f8 is not working like here in this kind of situation let's say i'm on goibu website and here you go to hotels and i'm try to type here let's say i type here goa this drop down appears now let's see in this situation none of the those solution will work like now the neither f8 will work neither that uh, source pause button will work and like of course right click as soon as you do that immediately disappear this one so here you see make it visible then uh, let's say we go to sources here and let me type it again 
and you try to click on this button so you see that that immediately disappears so these are the kind of drop downs which immediately disappear when you press any key so how to inspect those kind of element which immediately disappear on pressing the key any key right so neither in this kind of situation you would be able to do it through f8 or by clicking on this button so what is the like omni solution what is the permanent solution to inspect such kind of dynamic drop down element so that you need not to remember all these things like clicking here sometimes it will work sometime f8 work let's see let's start with the very simple one so <coughs> we know that okay simply it is working cool we are able to inspect that perfect fine no need to like do any debugging hop let's go to flipkart website here how can we inspect these elements which on right click and we are able to click on inspect but they are not visible in the uh, dom because when you uh, remove your hover from electronics or like from the drop down element then they disappear so what should so here in this kind of situation like how can we inspect such dynamic elements let's see so there is one solution which will always help you just right click and inspect try to inspect this and you see that here in the dom we are not able to see cool just open selector sub and selector sub in selector sub we have a feature debugger feature those who are new like if you doesn't know how uh, what is selector sub and how to use it i would request you this it's a very simple free browser plugin just go here on selector sub website and click on install and install it in your browser okay so here you have what you have to do you just have to click on this debugger button to inspect these elements okay very simple one step click on this debugger button and then hover on this element let's see click and hover here you see that blue dot uh, bluetooth headphones selector what selector sub will do it will stop your element and now you would be able to inspect any of these drop down elements either by using this element or uh, like this dev tools inspector here or you just right click uh, like sorry right click will be disabled so you would be able to uh, like inspect through this inspector here any element what you have to do you just have to click on this debugger button and then make that element visible just basically hover on that element immediately any kind of drop down like let's say uh, we are on selectors of website here like let me close and show you guys from the beginning here we have these drop downs okay i mean they are like immediately you can in normally you can inspect but still i will show you through debugger so click on this debugger and hover and you will see that within five seconds it will stop now you would be able to inspect i mean without that also we were able to inspect that but here this way also you would be able to inspect these drop down elements you see <clears throat> now another thing how can we uh, like what the logic here is basically you have to uh, after clicking on this debugger button within five you get a five second of time to make that element visible okay and then selector sub will pause the script and it will make that element stable there and you would be able to inspect that like this cool let's see again this one flip card example let me show you again refresh the page right click anywhere or whatever you want or uh, you can open the dev tools from the keyboard shortcut open selector sub click on this debugger button after clicking make that element within five uh, visible within five seconds and now this element is visible it has been stopped you can inspect this now let's go to go i view 
here let's say we are typing here something an element is visible but as soon as you right click or try to inspect that element that get disappear so what you have to do here open selector sub click on this debugger button and type it here goa let's say basically within five seconds you have to make that element visible and now you see that this element is stopped here we can inspect this and see and at the same time you will see that it has aut automatically generated x path and selector so that also you can get from here simple so easy so this way you would be able to inspect any kind of dynamic invisible elements one more example i will show you on flipkart website let's say so you, you see that when you uh, let's say searching for something let's say i search for iphone here and right click you see that immediately that element got disappear so how we can inspect such kind of element right so simply inspect this go to selector sub and click on this debugger button let me just delete this first okay click on debugger simply you have to click here and then search for whatever you are searching make that basically drop down visible and then inspect simple so it is working so far we have seen in all the situations now coming to the spin loader how you can inspect is spin loader this kind of spin loader using the selector sub debugger feature so you see that as soon as you refresh the page because uh, to see these bubble loaders we have to refresh the page okay <coughs> so in this situation what will happen like so far whatever examples we have seen like this one so we first click on the debugger and then we make the element visible right but there is a condition like after clicking on the debugger button we cannot refresh the page if if we will refresh the page then this debugger will execute and it will not pause your script or uh, it will not stop your element would not be able to because debugger will execute like this if we refresh the page you see that that you wish to execute so what we have to do in this kind of situation in uh, like in ca case of spin loader what we want we want to start the debugger immediately like we refresh the page and we want to immediately start like it should not wait for five seconds because if it will wait for five seconds in that time this debugger will execute sorry this spin loader will disappear okay so what we want we want to start the debugger immediately here so how can we change that five second to zero second yes we can do that we have a setting here in selector sub setting option and another thing like every time i'm clicking here and selector sub is showing as a last step so let me just change the position of selector sub so we can keep it as a first position so now next time when we'll when we will let's say opening the uh, dev tool so you will find the selector sub at first position so this is great feature now how can we change the time from from five second to zero second click on this customize ui button here and you see that five second debugger start time make it zero cool now we'll go back here we'll put our cursor here on top of the debugger debugger and refresh the page immediately click on the debugger button you see that all the bubble loader bubble loader here has been stopped you can inspect any of them and generate these selectors so this is a really great feature that even any kind of spin loader also you can inspect through selector sub if you are inspecting any element which you can make visible within five seconds for that you just click on debugger button and then make that element visible if you are inspecting any spin loader then change the uh, debugger time from five second to zero second by going through this setting button to zero and then click on the debugger after refreshing the page 
it's very simple and always working in any kind of situation so this is a kind of like omni sol solution which will always work for you guys to inspect any kind of dynamic invisible elements spin loader etc i hope you found this tutorial helpful i will request you please like share and let others know about this great solution it will definitely help people and uh, those who are not aware about selector sub please do let others know if you write blogs please do write blog on this you can feel free to uh, prepare tutorial or uh, present in any conference about this tool and there are <coughs> more tools on selector sub website so you can check it out here uh, and this will they will definitely help you guys a lot like selector sub test case studio test case sub do check out all these uh, tutorials sorry tools and on the practice page you can practice about different kinds of automation scenarios i hope you are enjoying and learning a lot of great things through selector sub thank you and if you guys are new here please do subscribe to the channel this will really help thank you thank you so much Bye-bye.